19th. We just passed the 300 mark. Is this gonna be worth like $500? Like, is that where we're going? Throw it in the trash. I can already hear the comments of people telling me to grow up already. We're not here for that negative energy. Hi guys, it's Adria. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this has been requested for quite a while now. I am finally doing an updated panda collection video, and this time it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm actually going to try to estimate the entire value of my collection. I don't know how much all this stuff is worth, but I'm going to try to uh, figure that out today. But first, I would like to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. I've been sponsored by them in the past. You guys know I love them. So they are a fragrance subscription service. $15 a month for a 30-day supply of perfume. And it's a nice way to try out new fragrances without investing in a super expensive bottle. I can't commit to one scent. One day I'll smell like pumpkins. The next I'll smell like the beach. I can't pick one thing and you can actually try up to two or three cents a month. They have high-end brands like Gucci and Prada if you're bougie like that or they have more indie brands like Vince Camuto or Confessions of a Rebel. And for the month of September, Scentbird has partnered with Sanctuary. They raise awareness about endangered species. So one dollar from each red panda vial sold will be donated to help save the red pandas. Super into the red panda scent by the way. Not only is it super fitting for my brand, the scent is actually gorgeous. And of course, the link to Scentbird will be down below. Check them out if you haven't because I tell everyone I know about them. But one time a flight attendant on a plane was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. And I literally had to do like a whole Scentbird ad to the flight attendant. <laughs> so try out a new scent and save the red pandas. All right, let's get into the panda collection. So I had to go through my entire house to find all of my panda things. This video has been a few months in the making. I'm gonna guess that everything together will probably be worth maybe 200 bucks, like 250. And I'm really gonna try to lowball this stuff. Like I'm not gonna make it like, this is worth $50. Uh, <laughs> so let's see where this takes us. All right, so first up, we have a little panda chapstick. Oh, there's a hair in it. I would estimate this to probably be about a dollar. We have this, I think I got this at a bookstore. It was a keychain. I'm not sure where I got this from. This is, we're off to a great start. I'll just make it $2. We have this panda. This is actually a Webkins. Y'all remember Webkins from back in the day? This is the Webkins Charming Panda. His name is Becker. I got him at a bookstore in like 2012. He was probably about $15. Do I have two of these? So next up, we have two Webkin signature pandas. If y'all were around for like the Webkin's days, the signatures were it. They were hard to find and they were expensive. These were both my sisters. I think these were about 25 to $30. So I'll just put 25 for each. Oh my gosh, we're already at $68. Okay, my estimate is probably gonna be very off. Yeah. All right, next up, we have a beanie ball. Is that what it's called? Beanie balls. It's a little mature, but. All right, did I really buy this with like the only $30 I had? I'm pretty sure I did. I'll put 20 for this because I really don't know. This is my Domo Panda. I feel like Domo was big in like 2014. That was like one of the things. This was from Brandon's brother and I'm pretty sure he got this at the Atlanta airport. I know they have like a lot of Panda things there. $10 in an airport, I would, yeah. It's all gonna be way more than 200 bucks. I already know. This is a beanie ball. Again, like the big one. And I would guess this would probably be about five bucks. This is probably one of my favorite things in my collection, if I'm being honest, because it's just so cute. And I got this for my 19th birthday from my Nana. She got this at Toys R Us, when Toys R Us was still a thing. I don't even remember what I named him. He was probably about 30 bucks. Ugh. So next up, we have a Squishable. A few years ago, I had mentioned something about how much I loved my little Squishable that I bought. And I was like, hey, Squishable, sponsor me. And then they actually did. I told them to just surprise me with Squishables and one of them was a panda. I think they're about $40 for the full size ones. They might even be more than that, but I think I'll just put like 35 for him. My gosh, I'm at 168. Uh, but there's still a lot of, oh, okay. Next up, we have this little guy and this was from my sister, Allie. I'm pretty sure she won this in a claw machine. That's 
fun, right? <laughs> I mean, what did she spend in the claw machine? Like $50 to get this? No, I mean, this is probably literally worth like a dollar. This is Pancake and he is a pillow pet. I have two of these, but one of them was from my ex-boyfriend. And then one of them, I don't know where I got it from. I got it later. Is it wrong to keep things from your exes? Like, let me know because most things I got rid of. If it was a panda thing, I'm probably gonna keep it, right? This is also from Brandon's brother probably from the Atlanta airport. This is a panda backpack. We still have the price tag on it. That makes it easier. It says it was $24.99. Yeah, I was literally going to say about 25 bucks. So I think I'm good at this. I think that is it for my background. So let's get into miscellaneous things. <laughs> Next, we have this plant, potted plant. There was ogre ears, a weird looking succulent that looks like Shrek's ears in this, but it died because I don't know how to take care of anything. That was a gift from my great aunt. I will guess that was probably about like $10. We got some mugs. I actually have two of each of these, so four in total. And I think these were from Brandon's mom. I'm pretty sure she got them at TJ Maxx, which aren't they going out of business? Probably five bucks each, so 10. These we got last Christmas from Brandon's mom. And these are cute because they have a little lid. It did come with like little spoons. And on the back it says pandas, like eating bamboo. Hey, thanks for letting us know. I'll do 10. Another 20 bucks. Ah, this is a vest with a panda hood. Brandon and I met as like a long distance couple. He found me on Instagram, followed me, thought I was cute. You know, it can happen. He actually got this for me like off an Amazon wish list, I think, many years ago. There's a video of me talking about this and I was like, oh, I got this from my friend Brandon. My friend. A quick little shout out to my friend Brandon for this panda vest. My girl, who was I kidding? So thank you, Brandon. I'll say like 20 bucks for that. Why don't I just do this hat before I forget? So this little beanie. Why I feel like I got this at like Hot Topic or something. I'll say like 15 bucks for this. Next up, we have these little slippers. I think I have two pairs of these. I'm pretty sure my mom got me these for Christmas, like put them in my stocking. I'll say these were probably about $5. Why did I literally just think there was somebody like standing outside my window? on the second floor, right? Like just like, hey, we have this panda pillow. We got this 2015-ish from my Nana. It's like a birthday present. I think she got it from like Home Goods or something like that. I'll say this is probably about $10. Next, we have Panda Puzzle. I think I got this at a flea market in Florida for like five bucks. Oh my gosh, I was actually gonna wear this today because it has been a little bit cold. Have you guys felt like you don't even know how to dress lately? I wake up in the morning, I put a hoodie on, and then it's 70 degrees by noon, and I'm like, okay. Cute panda sweater. My Nana got this for me. I'm not really sure where it's from. It actually fits Brandon like perfectly, so on me it's a tad oversized. Ooh, I can already hear the comments of people telling me to grow up already. You know what? We're not here for that negative energy. Get away from me. <laughs> okay, this is probably like 15. We just passed the 300 mark. Y'all, okay, is this gonna be worth like $500? Like, is that where we're going? I, I don't wanna aim that high, but like, let's see where we go. Next, we have this little drawstring bag. I think Brandon's mom gave me this. So I'm gonna guess this is maybe like five, 10 bucks, but I'll say five. Pandas on pandas on pandas. Oh, do we have more Webkins? <laughs> I actually collected Webkins back in the day. Here we have two Webkins pandas. These were for like $12 each. Oh, somebody drew me this. I used to have a P.O. box back in the day, so obviously this is priceless. <laughs> Tell me why this just scared me. This is a feisty pet. Wait, its mouth opens somehow. How? Wait, I forget what I do. Is it its ear? <gasps> I think this was from Brandon's mom. Uh, I'm gonna say this was like 10 bucks. This is me when YouTube unsubscribes people against their will. Wow, do we really have another Webkins? So like another 12 bucks. Thai Beanie Boos. I think these are about $5. Oh, this one's so cute. Look, why does it have such a sweet face? It's like... So this is a Thai Beanies. What's his name? Ming. I don't know where I got this from, but I'll say he was $5. A subscriber also made this for me. He's laying on a rock and there's a little plant and one of his ears fell off. Look at his butt. So that's it for that. We're getting there. Ah, there's a stink bug. Okay. This ain't it. How many times in this video am I gonna get scared? <gasps> Ah, there's a stink bug. This is a little panda backpack that I got on Amazon. Probably about $20. I keep notebooks. Um, 
random trash bag. All right, next we have one of my personal favorites. This was really the thing that started my panda phase. I'm gonna cry, I haven't seen this in so long. This is my panda dress. I got this at Hot Topic. I think it was 2011 actually. I think it was my junior year of high school. I was buying something unrelated and I saw this and I was like, I need that. And this was at a super low point in my life. And this dress brought the biggest smile to my face. I'm like, I don't care what it costs. I need that dress. I think I only had 20 bucks to my name. I had to go out to the car and I begged my mom for $20 so that I could afford this $40 dress. I'm pretty sure that's how that went. This was $40. I will never forget it. This was just such an icebreaker for me. It just made me feel so confident about myself. Maybe people thought it was dumb. Maybe people were just complimenting me to be funny. Like, oh, it's so ugly. Why would you wear that? But I love this. Yeah. That was probably the biggest sappiest story of the video, but that was the thing that started it all. Okay. Next we have a blanket. I I debated using this as like a backdrop. I feel like that would look kind of cute. I think my Nana gave me this as well. A lot of the stuff is from my Nana because every time she sees a panda, she thinks of me and gets it for me. 15 bucks. If y'all are keeping track of how much all this stuff is along with me, you already know that the number is staggering. I didn't think we'd get up this high. Next we have this panda shirt. This actually was Brandon's before I even knew him. He was almost the panda before I was. There's even a baby picture of him with a little panda plushie. The parallels. It was probably like $20, but I'll say $15. We have this little makeup bag. This was from Amazon. I think one of my sisters got me this for Christmas or something. I will say $10. Yeah, I'm seriously getting rug burn on my ass. We have yet another panda blanket. It does glow in the dark. Uh, definitely meant for a small child. I'll say this was $10. Microfiber hand towel. Nana also gave me this. This is from the dollar store. I found this under my bed before filming this video because like I said, I was looking everywhere. He actually bobs his head when he's in the sun. Does it work with the ring light? No. He knows the difference. I think my sister Allie gave me him. I think he was from Five Below. I'll say three. Four. Four is a good number. Next, we have these little panda measuring cups. I got these from my great aunt, as well as this little panda spatula. Yes, pandas have made their way into my kitchen. It's a whole thing. So it's in every room in my house. They come apart. I have to edit that noise out of this video. Uh, we're putting this away. 10 bucks. All right, next up we have a panda coin purse. This was from Claire's. I actually got this from a guy that like I went on one date with. T. Again, keeping presents from boys that we no longer talk to. This is cute. It's a coin purse. I use this all the time. Whatever. It's from Claire's. It's fine. It's not a ring. It's a coin purse. It's not that deep. So that was probably 10 bucks. Next up we have this panda scarf. This is honestly probably one of my favorite things. I think this is from my mom. Probably like dollars Still got this whole basket! <laughs> so this is a little keychain. I keep this on my lanyard and I keep uh, my headphones, piece of gum, and a panty liner. You know, important. Brandon's mom got for me when I was visiting in Florida. I think it was last summer and she got this at CVS. It was probably between five and ten. I'll say seven. So next up we have panda stickers. I don't know where I got these from or when or why. I'm weird about stickers. I hoard them forever because I'm like, listen, I'm gonna have something super important that I need to put them on later. Anybody else? Say 50 cents for each, so a dollar together. Next up we have these panda slippers. These look very worn out. These are my favorite. I mean, look at the bottom. <laughs> hey, I sell pictures on my feet, you know. Link down below. These, I don't know where I got them from, but they were probably like $10. All right, next up we have these panda pants. I actually just recently got these for my birthday from my great aunt. Pillow talk, wasn't that by Zane? Y'all remember when Zane left One Direction and then dropped that hit out of nowhere? I will say these were $10. Next up we have these panda bag clips that I also recently got along with those pants. These were probably five bucks. I think my brother Zach gave me this for Christmas one year. Probably about $15. When you think it's gonna end, it doesn't. So next up we have this Betsy Johnson panda duffel bag. This is probably one of my favorite items as well. Out of all of the things, I probably use this the most, or at least I did when I was traveling. I miss traveling. My Nana got me this. I'm pretty sure she got this at TJ Maxx. I'll say 30 bucks. Oh, a tutu. And then we have another. 
<laughs> Another panda duffel bag! And there's a bag inside a bag inside a bag. It's like that episode of Spongebob when he's just reaching in the bag. Like, that's what just happened. <laughs> I got two of these last year for Christmas or the year before for Christmas. Two people got me the same thing. This I know was $5 from Five Below. Another panda hat. I'll say $5. I have another panda hat. 10 bucks. Okay, Miss Furry Queen entered the chat. This is embarrassing. It was probably $10. Some of the stuff I've had for so long, I just don't even remember. This was my sister's. I think she got this at Hot Topic. This is probably my favorite of the panda hats because it is kind of quirky-ish. This was honestly probably like 20 bucks, but I'll say 15. This came with that backpack that I showed earlier. It's nice when I don't want to take a whole lot anywhere. I used to wear pandas a lot more often than I do now. Now it's just kind of like, hey, this is my collection and I can't get rid of it. And uh, this is the thing. I got that with the backpack so the two of them together were 20 bucks so I'm just not even gonna count that as anything. We're almost done guys. We're, we're getting there. Next up we have a panda onesie. It doesn't have feet on it though it's which thank god I'm a little claustrophobic. I, I don't think I could ever sleep in a onesie. I don't I feel suffocated you know. Probably like 30 30 30. People ask me all the time where I got my username from. But it's like a Hello Kitty panda hoodie. I got this at Hot Topic. I don't find myself wearing this a whole lot. Kind of seems like a like a plug for myself. I don't know. Did I steal something that was copyrighted? It's a huge part of my history, my life, my adolescence, my youth. It has a bow on the ear. 30 bucks. We found the other pancake. I think this one was from my ex. Throw it in the trash. $10. Here's all my panda socks. Five bucks for each of these. 25 bucks. Oh. Here's that other pair of panda slippers I was mentioning. These are not even open. Seven bucks. This is my red panda. He is also a Webkinz. Red pandas are my fave. I should spray him with my red panda from Scentbird. I got this for, I think it was my 18th birthday. Yeah, too old to be getting Webkinz. I'd kind of stopped collecting at this time, but you know, they released the red panda and I was like, girl. This was probably about $25. It was from my Nana. Oh my gosh. These are from my ex-boyfriend. He got me these for Christmas. I still still use them in the winter. Is that weird? I don't know, but they were from Hot Topic. They're kind of falling apart, but they're comfy. $10 for these. Yeah. I need to get another memory card. I will be right back. All right, here we go. These are panda pajama pants. I got these from my Nana. I think she got them at a secondhand store, so they were probably like two bucks. Then we got more stickers. So I'll say like another two bucks. Then we have this little panda stationery set. I'm pretty sure a subscriber sent this to me in my P.O. box. Five bucks? All right, we got these shorts. Nana gave me these as well. They probably have my panda clothing. These are in the top. I wear these a lot in the summer. So I will say these are probably like 10 bucks. And we have this t-shirt from my Nana as well. I don't know where she got it from. I'll say $5 for it. Then we have this panda tank top. I got this for my birthday in 2013. So my 20th birthday. Well, I brought it with me when I met Brandon. So this is a bit nostalgic for me. I'll say this is probably like 10 bucks. I got this at Hot Topic many years ago. It was on the clearance rack. I'm like, girl, why not? <laughs> Eight bucks. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is another panda shirt. It says hello on the front and then on the back is a little panda butt. <laughs> and this is probably like five, ten bucks. I'll say ten. Ah! This is my panda nope shirt and this is a mood. I don't know where I'm, I, I want to say Nana. She got me so much of this stuff. This was probably like ten dollars. Oh my gosh, these panda slippers. I got these on Amazon. I think they were like ten dollars. Got another panda duffel bag. So this was five dollars. We are almost done. Okay, we have this panda eye mask. I think I got this for myself on Amazon many years ago. Five, ten dollars. I'll say seven. That's a safe number. Then we have another beanie ball. Don't know where he came from, but five dollars. Oh my gosh, we have this panda ring. I got this at Hot Topic. Ten dollars. It was probably more than that, honestly, but... We'll say 10. I know for a fact my sister Allie got me this watch for Christmas one year. This was probably like $10. Ooh, I was wondering where this went. Okay, my panda necklace. I got this at Hot Topic back in the day. I remember my ex-boyfriend was working there when I found this and I made my sister buy it for me. I didn't want to go up to the counter. 
15, 15 bucks. Little panda eraser, a dollar. Then we have a panda bookmark. I got this at a bookstore. I think these were like five bucks. There was two of them. One year for my birthday, Brandy got me a bunch of squishies. I think it was like 2017, remember squishies? That was like the hot thing. This came in a set. So this alone is probably literally worth like a dollar. Oh my gosh, this is the last thing. This is so pretty. This was from Nana. She found this at a yard sale and it is a cute little panda bowl. Oh, it says Mother's Day on the back. That's kind of weird. 1992 on there, but whatever. I mean, it's cute. I put my jewelry in it. It could be worth more than I think. I guess I'll say $10 for it. The grand total, are you ready for this? $911. Somebody call 911. Uh, how? I'm a little stunned. Did I not guess $200, $250? It was more than I remembered, honestly. So thank you guys so much for watching my panda collection today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below if you collect anything. And thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. I am running out of time to film and it is a million degrees in here. So I will see you guys again next time. Until then, panda hugs. Love you guys.